The cyclone works great, but I have a problem with a collapsing barrel. But before I can sort it out, I need to make a jig. So I've got this bit of plywood on my bandsaw, and I'm just marking out where the edge of the table is. I can then use a square to draw a line where that mark is. I'm now going to attach a scrap of wood along that line with some glue to act as a fence. Make sure it's on nice and square and then I can get it clamped in place. I need a second bit of wood attached to the bottom and this will hit the bottom of the bandsaw table. So I mark where it needs to be cut and get it cut down on the miter saw. This can now get glued and clamped in place. So when the glue's dried, we can run the jig through the bandsaw. The first fence runs along the side of the table. I can cut into the plywood until the fence at the bottom hits the table. I turn the saw off and leave it in place. Then I grab a square and a pencil and draw a line from where the blade finishes cutting to the edge. I have a piece of wood that's slightly wider than the barrel. Now I just want to make it square. So I get it measured and marked out and then I can take it over to the mitre saw. It's too wide for the mitre saw to do it in one cut. So I do one cut and then I flip it over and finish the cut. Before I got around to doing this my barrel had collapsed quite a few times. Most of the times I could just push it out but then it got really hard to do and I found if I filled it with warm water I could then push it back to shape. Now I need to find the centre of this bit of ply so I just join up the corners and put a cross in the centre. Now because the centre is actually going to be the waste piece, I can just drill a hole through. I get the barrel put on the piece of wood and one side roughly lined up using a square. Then I can get a square on the other side and work out roughly what the biggest point of the barrel is. Looks like about 31 centimetres. So I'm going to measure out 15.5 centimetres along the line I've drawn on my jig. I take the jig off and back over to the bench just for ease and then I can get a screw through that centre hole I drilled. I now want to get the tip of that screw lined up with that 15.5 centimetre hole, mark even, that I made and get the screw tightened up. I don't tighten it up too far and I still need to spin the piece. As I say, the centre is going to be the waste but if you wanted to keep the centrepiece, you'd probably be better off having a point of a nail going through the bottom up into it instead. So now I can get the jig put back on the bandsaw in the same way but with this piece screwed in place. Once I've got the jig pushed all the way in until the stop, I can then start turning the piece. The thinner the blade the better for this really especially if you want to do a tight curve. When I've completed the circle, I have to raise the blade guard to be able to lift the waste piece out. Now I've made a circle, but what I really want is a ring. So I measure in from my original mark three centimeters closest to the blade. Now I can get this circle attached again, but this time on the new mark I've made. With it screwed down, we can now push it back into the blade and repeat the process. So now I've got a ring of wood. Now it looks like there's no way it's going to fit into this barrel, but I thought I'd keep trying. 
My plan was, if it didn't fit, I'd just cut it into two and then join it back together while it was in the barrel. But with a bit of persuasion, I managed to get it pushed in and then twisted around to the correct position. This is now really securely in place and should stop the barrel collapsing. Thanks for watching, thanks to my Patreons, and please subscribe for more videos.